Social media has been buzzing all day with notifications about the big matchups that are set for tonight. I cannot wait for this event. Yeah, guys, I'm not sure what it is, but there's something in the air. It feels like it might be one of those nights that changes everything the here in WWE. Backstage, Corey, has been growing with every minute. Everybody's raring to go. Looking at tonight's card, we really do have all hands on deck for this one. Sit tight for singles action coming up next. Don't change that channel. We have singles action coming up. We have a real fan favorite versus a formidable opponent. Oh, I cannot wait. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Hong Kong, China, weighing in at 640 pounds, the ECW Hardcore Champion, the Asian Guys, what better way to start the night off than with this Little one? Homie. I can't think of a better Champion. match to kick the night off, Michael. In fact, we haven't even gotten started yet, and I can assure you that this will be a tough match to follow. And his opponent from Japan, weighing in at 130 pounds, Hui. What a great match we have here to start off this night, guys. And, Michael, I had to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener. I mean, it could very well have been our main event. And one other way, looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. And it looks to me like this entire arena is on its feet, and understandably so. 
Not the fall that hurts, it's the sudden stop at the end. What a stop! Good grief! He's in a little bit of trouble now. Looks to me like he's starting to feel the pressure, guys. That confidence he had on his face at the start of this match sure has disappeared, and with good reason. He's taken quite a beating. He's starting to look beaten, guys. There's a good chance he can't recover from this. Oh, man. This is all but over. I think I can safely speak for all of us when I say that this beating he's taking oh, is pretty tough to watch. for it. I think we know what this is. Right to the back. That should do it. Did you guys feel that too? Now let's take a look back at these guys in action. And I always enjoy watching him perform. Here is your winner, the Asian Nightmare, China Little Homie. And that's a win to start off the night. And if that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. One match is in the books, and we're on to the next. Tag team action on the way. Buckle up, because we have a contest that's going to blow the roof off this place. We have a team led by one of the best talents on the roster to date in a match that is sure to not disappoint.
to the ring. At a combined weight here? of 290 here we pounds, the Tag Team Champions, Saban. Well, I'd say the champ is stepping into the ring tonight with an opposition eager to prove a point. Yeah, but I would say the champ is just as eager to prove a point as well. Maybe even more so. Oh, and now we have a brawl on our hands. Oh, yeah. They didn't need the match to start to make a point. Oh, kick to the face. And set to start things off here. Ouch. We're ready to go. Yeah, the tag team scene in WWE right now is so impressive. And these two tandems are a lot of the reason why. Scoop slam. Now. Team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Beautiful technique. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who have dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE locker room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Inching close, oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. By earlier, you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer, former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon, used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael. I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. He misses the dive. And unfortunately for him, there was no water in the pool. Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch up. And he's heading back in. The two out of three falls match that saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a bro kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, 
But the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss cyborg. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down and the third fall was ruled a double countout. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote unquote committee nonsense cost her girls the match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the disarmor, there was nothing for the stat not Big move! Her Karana ideal meal. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Ooh, what a pass. He's looking at it. Oh, what height! Just when you thought he had nothing left. I want to see that again. Yeah, you and me both. He's got him covered. A win like that says a lot about a duo. Corey, this team's on fire. I mean, I don't know how you stop them. I don't know if you can. They're firing on all cylinders. And the WWE fans absolutely love them. I mean, they're so much fun to watch. You don't have to like them, but you got to respect them. These two get it done inside the ring. We'll see if the next match lives up to the hype of the first. Plant your butts in those seats and get ready.
making his way to the ring from Virginia, weighing in at 297 pounds, the world champion, Mr. Cyclone Rick Champion. Byron, tell me, how do you think the champ looks heading into this one? I'm impressed, Michael. Sometimes you see a champion look a little less motivated when the title is not on the line. But that's clearly not the case here tonight. And his opponent, from Annapolis, Maryland, weighing in at 145 pounds, King. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for one-on-one -on -one action. And Michael, it sounds to me like this crowd already picked the one who they want to win this match. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. These guys are gonna have a match you'll wanna watch over and over again. Super kick. I'm not sure how much he has left. He's going for the pin. One, two, three. What a way to win a singles match. Now let's get another look at some of the high points of that one. Here is your winner, Mr. Cyclone Rick. A big singles victory here tonight. And talk about displaying a never-say-die attitude. It was as if winning was the only option here tonight. Matches like that are the reason why I love this job so much. It'll be tough for the next match to be as good, but we shall see. Put down that remote and stay a while.
making his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 640 pounds, the superstar. As we ready for singles action, Byron, what can you tell us about these two competitors? Well, I can say that both of these superstars come into this match incredibly hungry to prove their dominance here tonight. But as we all know, only one will walk away with their arm raised in victory. Big time singles matches on deck here. And Byron, what should we expect to see here tonight? Well, given the shape these superstars appear to be in here tonight, I fully expect to see one of the most competitive matches we've seen in a very long time. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Oh, oh man! Not the oh, my goodness! Watching it! And here's another look at what made that match so special. Here is your winner, the superstar. Put it in the books. And there was no question about that one. This guy looks like he's ready to tear through the entire locker room. And I wouldn't put it past him. I think Boston is stunned by the outcome here, guys. Done with one and on to another. Sit tight for singles action coming up next.
making his way to the ring from Vancouver, British Columbia, weighing in. Look at the at champ's face, guys. I don't remember the last time I saw him focused like this. And don't forget, this is a non title match. So the Graham. fact that he's this focused right now really tells me something about his mindset. And his opponent, from Norfolk, Virginia, weighing in at 145 pounds, Psycho! We have one-on-one -on -one action on the way, and this one should be nothing short of amazing. I don't doubt that for a moment, Michael. In fact, I would go so far as to say this match might just steal the show. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Oh, man. This is going to be great. Surprises you guys. He goes for the cover. One, two, three. There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. Now's a good time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup. Here is your winner. A very wow, when you pick up a pinfall victory over somebody like that, you've done something right. I think Boston is stunned by the outcome here, guys. We all knew this situation was going to explode. I think business is about to pick up. The end may be near. Slam down hard. But is it enough to end it?
Let's keep the action rolling along. Get ready for tag team action. Coming up next. to the ring at a combined weight of 1,280 pounds, the champions, Dad and Sawyer, the Undead. Byron, do you think the motivation is an issue for the champ scene as the title is not on the line in this one? Not at all, Michael. In fact, given that the title is not up for grabs, I suspect the champ is more motivated to try new things here.
And we're now underway with this huge tag team match. Oh, what a chop block. starting to stumble here. At this point, it's all about how he responds and potentially rebounds. The beauty of tag team competition is that he doesn't need to take the entire brunt of the opposition's attack. Though the thought of making a tag doesn't necessarily appear to be on his mind right now. I think a lot of people right now are scratching their heads wondering how he let this match get so out of hand. Boom, what impact! He's getting closer, Corey. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. move for him here, Michael. Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. What a stop! Good grief! the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Ooh, what impact. This capacity crowd starting to sense the end is near, and I don't disagree. This is about as bad as a driver. Here's his moment, Michael. That's one of those moves. He's going for the pin. A kick out, and he almost had him. He's still in this. getting out of control for him. The abuse oh, his body has gone through in this match is a little disturbing. I don't know what... Truth or consequences! That's what he was looking for, Michael. I think I heard a bone One, break. Two, three. And that's it. This one is over. These guys were awesome. Let's take another look. This was one of those matches that had flashes of brilliance, but never quite lived up to all the hype. Good match overall, though. Here are your winners, Dad and Sawyer, the Undead. Well, that one was over before it even started. I knew these two were a great team. I just didn't know how great. Wow, they really impressed me out here. Yeah, you can bet they're going to be talking about this match for quite some time. Enough of the prelims. Time for the main event. Singles action coming your way.
making her way to the ring from England. Get ready, guys. Big time singles matches coming up here. And I can assure you these two superstars have been waiting all day to get their hands on each other. From New Orleans, Louisiana, the Queen. Guys, we have two of WWE's most exciting superstars ready to square off here. And there's nothing quite like seeing two superstars settling it in the ring in one-on-one -on -one action, Michael. Matchup set to get underway, and this is going to be a good one. And from what we understand, Corey, we're going to be joined by a very special guest superstar on commentary, and here they come. I couldn't be any more excited to get this superstar's point of view on the competition. I'll tell you what, the superstar inside the ring better keep their eyes on their opponent. Yeah, indeed they better, because this is going to be one heck of a matchup. Cannot wait to hear what this superstar has to say. Oh, attack to the midsection. Guys, yeah, she's leaving herself wide open here. Oh, mess. 
Watch the impact. Look at this. in from the floor. Keep your eye on this one. Look at this. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Uh-oh. Face plant. She is just so dominant. She got her with a reversal. Ooh. Double chicken wing applied. Slam, slam. That's it. That's what she needs. Got the shoulders down. Digging deep for a kick out. She's still in this one. For years, Monday night has been the most exciting night in sports entertainment, and the action we've seen here is a lot of the reason why. She might have it. She looks for it once again. Call your friends, let them know what's going on right now in this awesome match. Bringing it back into the ring. Some damage has been dished out, but certainly not enough to assume this one's even close to being over. Incoming. Things starting to go the other way for her. Well, this one appears far from over, and she knows that. Up until now, this match had all the business of a good old-fashioned blowout. This match has been non-stop since the bell rang. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. What a face buster. This one is over. Looks like she wants to win early. Two, three. The pinfall and the victory. Let's take another look at these ladies going toe to toe. Overall, this match was average at best, but not every match is going to be memorable. In fact, I've almost forgotten it happened already. And if you don't enjoy watching her perform, there's something seriously wrong with you.